bit unlucky there. He played it with extra pace on it with a view to bouncing in and out of the bulk area. Now, this is tough, isn't it? It's goodness me. Wow, that is a very fine pot. That's a terrific shot. That really is top class. Five. So, is he going to knuckle down here? I mean, you can't turn it on like a switch, Six. but players do have a gear whereby they can move into overdrive if need be. And I think in the context of this match right now, O'Sullivan has certainly got to step up on what we've seen. 13. Got to try and focus. And I guess what focuses 14. the mind is the position in the match. He could have been 3-2 down there. Fantastic brown to red play. There's quite a lot resting on whether he can pop this red to the middle. He looked at it and he obviously thinks it will pass. Point two. So this frame is becoming very interesting. Two open reds. And Sullivan will only be a few behind if he takes those with high value colours. Definitely played the cannon there on the, the top red and tried to shift it into play. Well, he might play the double. I don't know. Forty-two. One of those shots which he Forty certainly would have played on. shot but his next shot again is a difficult one so this frame 49. now is, is almost at parity well this is an incredible turnaround he's not won the frame yet but he just flicked a switch Dave hasn't he well he set his stall out to, to go on the attack and Dominic Dale was in seven. control I mean you look at the red O'Sullivan pot he left himself a very tough brown which he's not only powered in, he's got on the next red. And he's been breathless, really, the rest of it. Sixty-two. Yeah, a little bit of a bewildered look on Dominic's face, because, like you say, essentially it was that three-ball plant, which I didn't think was ever really on, but even then, he really do wrong. He played the cue ball back, and all of a sudden the Seven frame's point. gone in the blink of an eye. Well, it's been an incredible dish, really. 